Hey, what's up everybody? Clint Hansen here with Ballistic Advantage, and today we're doing a follow-up video from our basic barrel installation video. Just wanted to cover a couple of tools more in depth, a couple of the tricks a little bit better, and uh, what you're gonna need for the barrel installation. So, in the first video, you saw me do a little trick, and I don't think you could see it that well because I was covering it. So I wanted to zoom in here. Um, so I take my roll pin starter punch. It's a 2S, and you can order it from Brunel's. Uh, you're going to need this for your gas tube roll pin. Um, but I'd use it in a way for when I'm doing the uh, barrel nut. Once I've gotten it tightened to about the place I want to, I want to check and see where I'm at, make sure I'm straight. So I just stick it in the hole, if I can find it. Okay, and so now I'm simulated a gas tube. And it's just a quick check, easy way while you're tightening it up rather than having a rod or something sticking in there during the whole time. So nice little quick little trick right there to use. Okay. Um, that leads me right into barrel nut installation. Um, in the video we covered torquing it on without a torque wrench because I don't like the whole term 30 to 80 foot pounds, which spec calls for, because 30 foot pounds, in my opinion, just isn't enough. Um, oftentimes you can take that off with your hands. And if that happens during the active shooting or when you're doing training, you're under a car, you're leaning against something, your hand guard gets crooked and starts, and the gas tube's the only thing holding it on there. And then it's gonna be canted and cause your carrier key not to be able to find your gas tube. So it's very important that thing gets lined up there straight as well as tight enough. So um, when you're tightening your barrel nut, I like to use a standard barrel nut wrench. And this is from Smith Enterprise, and it's a standard uh, wrench that I've been using for years. And it works out really well. So, you start out with the three points of contact here to get it on there. And if you need to put a little bit more muscle, right on the back side here, you have all these teeth, more points of contact, and you're allowed to torque a little harder, okay? And lastly, you need a nice, good, sturdy block to work on. So hopefully all these tips help you guys out. That's why we're doing these videos, um, especially for you guys at home, you only have one of each part. So especially with a barrel nut, if you have one barrel nut and one receiver, you have a small barrel nut and a bigger receiver or vice versa, you don't always fall in that window of torque value that they say. So hopefully this is a little bit more specific. And in the future, that's what we really want to do for you. So uh, your comments will definitely be appreciated. So we're, again, we're here to help. So hit us up on our Twitter, our Facebook, and our Instagram. Email us your questions. Let us know what you want to see. So thanks, guys.